Hi, it's KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guests today are Chris Clark and Mark Jansen from the Dandelion Stoppers. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Great to see you. Good to see yeah. you, too. As we sat down to do this, I said it doesn't seem like all that long ago <laughs> that we sat down to talk because uh, it was prior to Jazz into the Stars last year, which was, uh, you guys kicked that off, series off in rare form last that year. What so a fun, fun night. It was great. <laughs> we had a good time. And, uh, and now another... Tradition returns to Eastern Iowa. It's the return of the Dandelion Stompers Mardi Gras party. That's right. Yeah, it's been a few years since we've been there. It has. Yeah. So when was the last? It was pre-pandemic, I know. 2020. Yeah, 2020. Yeah. Right before. Uh, that was our last hurrah uh-huh. before uh, yeah. everything kind of shut yeah. down. Yeah, and... we, we we had an event, too. We had mm-hmm. the Corridor Jazz Project concert was literally three days before everything <laughs> sat down. So yeah. <laughs> shut down. <laughs> I'm wondering, actually, there, uh, there there probably weren't too many more shows at the mill after, uh, oh, after our... Oh, good uh, point. After our Mardi Gras show. I can't right. imagine there were. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, and pour one out for the mill. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but right. uh, But... You're going to be at Wildwood this year, yep. which is a great venue. I love, I I love that space. Yeah, mm-hmm. not a bad seat in the house there. It's great. Yeah, and a great dance floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the that's that's the that's the great uh, uh, the great asset mm-hmm. of that space. Yeah, definitely. All that and good barbecue. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> which yes. it doesn't hurt either. So so Fat Tuesday, mm-hmm. which this year is on the twenty first. That's right. Uh, and uh, it's uh, you all will play, and who else is on the bill? Got the Swampland Jewels. They're going to open up the show at 7. And then, of course, before that, at 6.30, we've got a dance lesson with a five-season swing, teaching a swing dance lesson beforehand. So, yep. 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 That's uh, good. So, so if you've, if you've looked with uh, envy, envy and jealousy <laughs> at the people who know how to dance well, particularly at the Dandelion Stomper shows, this is your chance to brush up a little bit. Absolutely. Yep. And Swampland Jewels, that's got some members of uh, Diplomats of Solid Sound in it, right? That's right. Yep. Yeah. Nate Basinger is playing a lot of accordion, a couple of different accordions, I believe, um, to lead that group. Mm-hmm. And uh, and Forrest. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name. Yeah. Uh, the great, the great <laughs> For- Forrest Husingfeld. There That's you right. go. Yes. That's right. Yep. He plays drums. Randall Davis on the guitar. Yep. And I think I've got saxophone and, and bass with people I have not met yet. Oh, so okay. I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Right. It's well, a solid group. Well, yeah. you know it's a serious concert when there are when there is more than one accordion involved. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> well, and you know, all through the night there's at least three saxophones gonna be there. So <laughs> yeah. it'll be great. Yeah. yeah. And as a sax player, that's always good in uh, Yeah, more. I'm a little bit uh, weighted to that. So uh for, you know, we've we've talked so many times before, and anybody that came to Jazz into the Stars kind of knows the 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 idea behind the dandelion stompers and it's to really shine a light on and uh and have some fun with uh, the earliest of jazz music um what about but with a repertoire that doesn't technically that it doesn't have to necessarily change what do you do to keep the band fresh um i guess for us playing for dancers is a big deal and that you know that's one of those things that we've got a couple of shows coming up where we're working with five season swing to have a dance lesson beforehand and really get that kind of resurrected after the after the shutdown. Um, so for us, keeping it fresh on stage, certainly having that kind of, I don't know, that synergy with the dancers, uh, kicking it back and forth, the energy is kind of amazing when we do that. Um, that and, you know, bringing in new material um, and then sort of planning our new year, really. You know, all the shows we've got uh, lined up and in the works right now, so, yeah. yeah. Where do you find new material? Um, I kind of just look everywhere I can look. Uh, I go on YouTube and I, you know, find things on the usual streaming services. Um, I've probably downloaded um, more songs over the years than I can ever listen to. So sometimes I'll throw my own um, iPhone on random and just wait for something to hit me and then go and find a version of it or five versions of it and kind of grab all the good parts from all those. Yeah. Yeah. And I think everybody in the band, too, has kind of a different, you know, a, a, a different genre that they're kind of into. So I like to I like to grab old blues stuff that kind of leans toward jazz and you can always jazz it up a little bit. I know Chris really likes the uh, the very traditional early jazz material. Um, our singer, Katie Roche, has, you know, she has got a lot of uh, standards that she likes to sing, too. And we try to come up with a, you know, just a not necessarily a 
crazy new arrangement that's going to blow people away, but something we just want to want it to be fun for us. That's we figure if the music is fun for us to play, it'll be fun for somebody else. Uh, and as you said, you also want something that uh, people can dance to. Yeah, absolutely. That's the, that's the key. <clears throat> it's the Fat Tuesday party with the Dandelion Stompers, Swampland Jewels, and Five Seasons Swing coming up at Wildwood Barbecue and Saloon on the uh, 21st of February. Uh, how do people get tickets? Um, you can find those at wildwoodsaloon.com. And then also we've got a Facebook page uh, event set up for this, and the ticket link is on there as well. You teased us a little bit by saying kind of planning ahead for the year. What uh, What is on the calendar for the Dandelion Stompers? Um, we're looking at a couple of shows, some of the local farms that do a lot of uh, catering and, and places like that. We're still trying to nail those down. Um, I believe we're going to play at Raven Wolf on the 30th, uh, 30th of June. And that's a, kind of a new venue that came up during the pandemic out near Williamsburg. Um, and then we've got a few things um, looking at um, possibly Ragbri Week. So we'll see what we can do. Because Ragbri is coming through Coralville. It this sure year, is. Yep. Right, uh, yeah. right in our neck of the woods that's again. That's right. I may find myself riding and then jumping off and picking up a saxophone. We'll see. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. you, do you usually do Ragbri? I've been trying, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yes, that's, that makes for a long day. I'm going to need a I, lot of training. Yeah. But you can, <laughs> you can certainly visualize the street full of bicyclists and oh, dandelion yeah. stoppers on stage. Yep, we can see that. That's yep. a party. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> um, you mentioned a Facebook page mm-hmm. and Wildwood uh, Wildwood's website where people can get tickets. Uh, but uh, you have a website and a Facebook page as well if people want to just follow the band. Absolutely. Dandelionstompers.com. And you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so we can link everything's linked from there. So, well, it's uh, the way to kick off Mardi Gras. It's That's Fat right. Tuesday with uh, the Dandelion Stompers, Swampland Jewels, Five Seasons Swing at the Wildwood Barbecue and uh, Saloon in uh, Iowa City. Uh, have fun. Good luck with it, and yeah. uh, and stop by again and give us a progress report as the year progresses. Tell we'll, us what's up. We'll thanks do. a lot for uh, for sponsoring it as well. We're we're uh, really happy to have KCCK along. Yep, our pleasure. Thank Great. you. Thanks again. Thanks. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio many weekdays at 10, at 1030 or download the podcast. Watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org slash culture or your favorite podcast player. I'm Dennis Green, and I'll talk to you later.